Hello, I'm Tom Matuska, and I'm here for the Matuska Taxi Supply Company with Brian Olson. And many of you know Brian. Brian's an accomplished taxidermist for one thing, um, not to mention a very talented wildlife artist and sculptor. And uh, Brian is responsible for the Sagebrush Series uh, Mule Deer, along with Mark Connery and uh, Pat Wagner. Right. And uh, it's by far probably one of the most popular mule deer, uh, lines of mule deer in the country. I mean, people from around the United States really like the Sagebrush Series Mule Deer. Well, Brian's here today with us. Um, tell us what you got new. You got something new going here. Well, what we've got going on just through uh, competing across the, a few of the state shows and judging this year, I get a lot of requests for a change out nose for mule deer because there's not a lot of that available. So with some of my castings and things that I've collected over the years, we've come out with a new system that we're gonna be offering. So you can either purchase the mannequin in the foam as always and dremel out the nostrils and put in the septum and do your own work. Or we're gonna offer this with the replacement nose that you will purchase your mannequin when you order, just like this is, so it just accepts it. You don't have to cut it off. You just have to take a little uh, hot glue and put the new nose on. And I think the advantage to this is, is you don't have to try to get the nose back on straight. We're gonna take that guesswork out of it for you. So it'll only go on one way. We'll have a couple different sizes. So the size nose will be appropriate for the size of the head or the age of the deer. Um, one of the big advantages I think in this is a time saver is not only to do the proper um, nose anatomy, but inside the nose itself, there's a little ridge that we've sculpted in there where the hair line is gonna meet and you just have to trim it properly and glue that up to that little ridge. So your, min your finish work will be very uh, minimal. Uh, if, you, if you prep your hide properly and just follow it into that line, leave it a little long on top and roll it up over the top of the wing so you hide that raw edge then tuck some cellophane plastic or something up there until the glue dries it in place. The septums are already pre-colored, so you don't have to do a lot of painting. It's just blending your finish work on the nose. Uh, it's got a nice medium opening for the nose. I guess if you get it and you want something a little more open or closed, you'll have to heat that up and push it down or try to open them up, and you got a little bit of adjustment there. But there again, they fit on one way. Uh, I think the advantage, in my opinion, what I like is the lip line is foam all the way around. So you can still dremel out your lip line like normal and tuck your lip and get a nice good lip line on there. So I'm kind of excited about them. I think they're going to work real well. Um, they look good and if you've ever tried replacing the nose, um, if you put on 10 artificial noses, I'll bet you half of them tend to be crooked. They're very difficult to get right. on straight. You get this cut up and down and this way without having your nose twisted a little bit like that. And the goal for every taxidermist is, you know, you're going to take your cast and your reference material and you're going to study that nose. You're trying to get that curl um, like it is in the natural um, animal. And this is all done for you. And like Brian said, it's got that little ledge where your skin will meet. Um, finish work. You don't have to be way up inside of the nose oh, to do so finish work. Color. You can do it all where you can see it. It's right. excellent. And the, the uh, septum is, if we show this from the back, you still have some nice transparency through the middle where it should be like on a, a live deer, not the entire septum. It's just where it's the very thinnest in the middle. Um, got a nice texture in there. You just basically just need to finish the skin to nose junction with the little epoxy. And if you pre-color your epoxy is flesh colored close to this, you'll have very little painting to do in there. Mm -hmm. And how many sizes? It's gonna be available on two sizes right now. As we get a bigger size deer that we, we are working on and we have a request for, we'll make the right size nose for that deer as well. Uh, one tip I will give you, if anybody wants to use this for competition and take it to the next level, put just a minimal layer of clay over this artificial nose, put your real skin over the top like normal. Now you can texture the little dimples into that nose pad because you have that little thin layer. I'm talking a thin layer. Half a dime. Very small, maybe a sixteenth of an inch of clay. You don't want to really change the shape or the size, but it'll allow you to 
texture in the little rosettes and things that are in the in a real live deer's nose. So right now we have two sizes available, a small and a medium, and the large will be coming soon. Now available from Matuska Taxidermy Supply Company, Sagebrush Series, change out mule deer nose. And this is like the most ultra detailed nose on the market. And you can use it on any of your favorite mule deer mannequins, or you can buy the best mule deer on the market, um, the Sagebrush Series mule deer. It's available either without a nose, with a foam nose, or you can get it as a kit with the change out nose. Super detailed, easy to use, um, great accuracy.